We're covering the economy this morning. City of Cranston has released its latest budget proposal, and it does not involve any tax increases. That's a headline. And joining us more to talk about that this morning is Cranston Mayor Alan Funk. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. Jenna. All right. So how is that possible? We've got this uh, budget coming out. No tax increases. How are you making it work? You know, it, it's a lot of work. It's been an uh, effort of four years of cut, uh, cutting, watching our expenses, doing what we can't grow in our economy. So for a second consecutive year, I'm proud to announce that we are not raising property taxes. And that's a relief because a lot of taxpayers in Cranston are still hurting uh, from this economy. I have noticed a lot of people in Cranston on social media asking for no tax increases. So obviously you've heard the will of the people in your city, which is nice, and glad that you can make it work. One thing that I do want to touch upon with you is uh, you know, really a big headline this week about uh, gun control, Connecticut. Actually, this morning, House and Senate just passing mm -hmm. some pretty sweeping legislation. The governor expected to sign it. Um, what do you think about any potential changes to Cranston regarding the school systems and security? Well, here's the thing. I want our teachers teaching. I don't want them having to be armed and stuff like that. That should be in the hands of law enforcement, our police. And we work closely with uh, the superintendent to make sure that the safe protocols in place. Uh, right after the Newtown tragedy, uh, we were there enhancing our patrols, making sure that there's a safe environment for the schools. Uh, at the end of the day, I come from it from a for, as a former criminal prosecutor, making sure that uh, there needs to be laws that effectively deter uh, firearms getting in the hands of criminals. And those with mental health issues. That's where uh, that safety aspect has to be focused on. All right, and you're prepared to possibly break a few news stories for us here on the <laughs> show this morning um, as we shift gears a little bit. Let's talk a little bit about pension reform. I, I would imagine that's part of the reason why you were able to get your budget in a good shape where you don't have to raise tax increases. What are you preparing to announce possibly in the future regarding pension reform? Well, that's one of the key things. As you know, it's a big issue in Cranston. We've got one of the worst uh, locally funded plans in the state. Uh, we're going to have probably coming upcoming a major announcement, and that exactly is it. By putting those numbers in into our budget, it's going to help. Uh, you're going to hear about those reforms shortly. It's been a byproduct of months of serious discussion and dialogue with mm -hmm. a lot of individuals from the unions to retirees. So um, there's more good news to come. And again, hoping to break several news stories on the show this morning, but uh, obviously you know, Mayor, that there's not a lot of Republicans in higher office in the state, so uh, any potential future for you outside of Cranston? You never know, Danielle. Oh, you know, come that's on. A, that's something that I, I really enjoy the chief executive's job, and I'm taking a serious look at that gubernatorial race because a lot of what we're doing, building the city, building that business space, it's really exciting challenges that we've overcome. And to see the positive aspects, we have a second year without tax increases. That's because of those economic development initiatives. You know, I feel that as governor, as that chief, chief executive, that's what you should be focused on right now because people are hurting not only in Cranston, throughout the state, and those are the key uh, characteristics that we have to focus on. Sounds a little bit more like a yes, Danielle, than a I don't know, Danielle. <laughs> just saying, just saying. Anyway, Mayor, when you do finally say yes, if it is yes, we hope you'll make the announcement here on Eyewitness News. And we want to thank you for joining us to talk about all the topics and good luck with the. Uh, budget proposal Thank you as well. very much. You're welcome. And if you want to know more about the Cranston budget or anything else we just discussed, head to foxprovidence.com.